Is everybody okay? Hayden! Wake up, Hayden! Hey, give up, Cole. Yeah! Maybe this will work. Holy shit, we've... I thought... I thought we fucking lost you, man! Why the hell did you crash the car, you fucking moron? Yeah, what the fuck happened? I, I looked at the map for what literally felt like three seconds, and then there was an infected in the road. It's too risky to be taking your eyes off the road, man. That fucker caught me by surprise. Hayden, before we crashed, how far away from the group were we? I'd say about five miles. That's approximately a one hour and 40 minute walk. Are you able to walk? All right, good. We should probably go ahead and start walking towards your group. I do not want to get caught out here in the night. Yeah, no kidding. Damn it. We were so close. G guys, I don't feel safe out here in the dark. I don't think anybody does. Shit. We have to walk through the trail to get to the cabin. Are you fucking kidding? Something could be hiding behind any of these trees. We're out here in the middle of the night. We're not going to see anything before it actually gets us. You're right. But there's no other way to get there. Vince, hand me my shotgun, please. Here it is. Everyone keep your guns on standby. Be ready for anything. Surprised to see me? Fuck yeah! Although, I am a bit more surprised about the three plants standing behind you. Jacob, meet Bryce, Matthew, and Vince. Found Bryce while out on that expedition, and later found the rest of his group. They've had one long day to say the least. Haven't we all? Come on inside. Where did you even find these guys? They were in a cabin like this one, on the outskirts of town. It's good to know that they're quite used to this lifestyle. One thing I will say about Hayden though, is that he's a real lifesaver. He does hold that reputation deep within his heart. That's a horrible spot to have a bruise. Tell me about it. Well, if you already couldn't fucking tell, we got into a bit of a fight, as you can see. Yeah, it was something like that. Is Dr. West still awake? Not sure the guy ever sleeps. I'm gonna go check just to make sure. And I also need to change out of these clothes. Well, I should go check in with the doctor. In the meantime, I'm gonna go find somewhere to sleep. There's plenty of rooms, so feel free to pick whichever one. Oh, good. If you don't mind me asking, how many spare rooms do y'all have? Maybe about four, including the upstairs rooms. Perfect. I'll pick the one upstairs. Thank you both for letting us stay here. No problem. We could always use some extra help. Hey, Matt, come check with me after you get fixed up. Quick question, did y'all walk here? Mmm, yes and no. We had a car, emphasis on had. On the way here, Hayden crashed it by mistake. The hell caused that to happen? I guess when he was looking at directions, some infected must have came into the road. Rookie mistake? Never take your eyes off the road in a world like this. Matt, can you go up to see him? I told him that you only had a bruise on your face, so he gave me some medicine. There's not too much he can do about that. Ibuprofen? It should help, I suppose. But the doctor does want to take a look at you, Matthew. He said he was concerned about your eye. We ran out of rubbing alcohol a couple days back, and I'm not sure if he knows that. I'm willing to bet he doesn't. It, it would just be better if you got it looked at before you got some sort of infection. Right. I'll be back in a few. Speaking of being infected, do any of you know what this virus even is? No clue. We haven't heard TV broadcasts or anything about it ever since the day it started. Same here. We have a radio on standby to see if any military broadcasts would come through. I check up on it just about every day, but still got pretty much nothing. Shit! What do y'all think? What the fuck could have caused this? No idea. It's morbid as hell, that's for sure. I saw someone getting their intestines ripped out. That shit fucks you up, man. I hope all of this just gets resolved soon. Same here. Oh yeah, I think I've been meaning to ask you two about... You guys seriously don't care that we're plants? The world is ending out there. If we want to have even the slimmest chance of surviving this, we have to put aside our differences for the greater good. It's a... odd change. My group was in the plant army, so we're still trying to adjust to zombies being so kind to us. That guy Matthew tried to shoot me when I first met him. 
Fuck. Yeah, I I just don't know what goes to that guy's head sometimes. All right. Upon further inspection, the cuts on his face are fine. However, his eye was almost unsavable. Almost? Yes. You're lucky you got here when you did. One day late, and he would have suffered a fatal infection. We ran out of rubbing alcohol quite quickly. There was barely any in the cabin to begin with. That's what he told me as well. Look. I don't want to be rude, but it would be better for the both of us if you and Matthew did a fucking fight when the world is ending. I don't start these fucking fights, so get your goddamn facts straight! He's telling the truth, West. Matthew pulled a gun on me and Bryce stopped him from pulling the trigger. Matthew told me that too. I'm just letting you know that isn't gonna go down in this house. Well, it's not exactly my choice if it goes down like that or not. <sighs> I hear you. But next time, you should both try to avoid fighting. There's no guarantees, but I'll try if it makes you feel better. You and Matt need to get some rest. Let the medicine do its thing and hopefully you two will recover well. I can't guarantee that Matt will see out that eye again. But we'll just have to see how it heals. Well, you heard the guy. I'm gonna go find somewhere to sleep. It's just, uh, you know, it's been a, been a long day. One thing you'll learn in the army, or one thing you'll learn in war, you cannot save everybody. <laughs> if things get bad, make sure you save yourself. <gasps>